you, you want that to be your default, you know? Like, you want to already be adapted when the game starts. It's not about how many, like, opportunities you missed. It's about the mistakes that you made. Forget about the ball, forget about the play, and look at other things that you can do on the pitch. I'm a 24-year-old Rocket League player and coach with lots of experience to my name coaching all of the ranks in Rocket League. Join the SSL Academy to find out how you can take your game to the next level. And last of all, enjoy the video. Try this. It's helped me a lot. Oh, teammates in front of me, I should be working. <laughs> teammates in front of us again. But I wouldn't, I, you know, you don't want to immediately rotate out. This is good. But we want to okay. just shadow. It's aggressive, you know, and this is good aggression. I think this is perfect. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just sit back and they'll wait. Like, this is the bad play. This is the bad defensive play. And then the bad offensive play is when you commit. Right? So there's, these, these are two bad plays. What okay, you're doing here is... What? What you're doing here is the perfect play. You're aggressive, but you're not coming. It's like a threat, right? As long you just want to be an offensive threat. All about being a threat. It is. Good. I've seen players in champ that don't even do that as often as you see. I don't. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe yeah, yeah. they think I'm capable of more than I am, and so they're respecting as opposed to in champ. They're like, ah, oh, he's probably shit. Yeah, just stop. Yeah, it definitely could That's be respect for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like this should be your default, you know. It should be okay. aggression without committing. If you're second man, all the time, that should be a when default. You're shadowing, say your enemy still has boost, but you don't. How do you keep at the same speed as them then? That's for recognizing the boost. Boost pass helps, right? Yeah. So if you don't have boost here, let's pretend you don't have boost. For some yeah, reason, you wasted all your boost, and let's pretend this guy has a hundred boost. Mm -hmm. What you do is you turn around, and you're gonna have a fast turn because you have no boost and you're not boosting, and then you're gonna. Go back with him as he comes around in the corner. But you're going to make sure you're further ahead of them than you would normally be if you had boost. Okay. And then you're going to like flip back in a line and pick up a couple of pads. And then you're going to continue shadowing. Like you're going to slow down okay. a little bit and then continue shadowing when he catches Maybe up to you. I go on a 90 degree angle. It tends to be, that's what I do when I'm shadowing. I go on like a 90 degree angle to them. Sh and then I'll yeah, try, try to avoid 90 degrees. That's normally like a bad commit. Okay. Or like a bad shadow. It should be close to 90 degrees, but not 90 degrees. Because right. normally so people like can sneak it around you. Or 50, something like that. Yeah, something like that, yeah. A little bit deeper okay. than that's fine. Like 70 is good. Just like 90 is just too much. At that point, when, okay. you, turn, when you turn sideways, your enemy has control over the ball. They can get around you either way, and you've exposed yourself, right? So, that makes sense. Whereas when you cut in, you still have control to weave back out easily. That yeah. makes sense. Okay. I don't think this is a bad hit. We're keeping aggression. Um, it's not easy for us to control this ball, so we hit it away, which is okay. Mm -hmm. And we get a good hit on it. It forces an enemy to respond, and they can't follow up on it easily. And then after this, so, I think I'm okay. I'm escaping the play here, right? Like, we're, mm -hmm. we're kind of underneath the ball. The ball is going to be... Yeah, you're both in the same corner. The ball is going to be in this area, and you're going to be underneath it if you turn, right? If you turn here, you're going so, to be underneath the ball. I think we just I'm wait for this guy playing. to do his play, right? We just wait for this mm -hmm. guy to do whatever he's doing, because he's not passing to his teammate, because his teammate's going no, to be rotating not. around. So this guy's just passing to no one, right? Yeah. Realistically. Like, he's just giving the ball away. He should and be I saving think... to the opposite corner, or the corner we're in at least. That way it's not straight in front. You don't want yeah, to receive the Front, right? Yeah, he needs to control the ball here as the enemy. Mm -hmm. Like take a, an air dribble, he needs to hold onto the ball for a long time. Um, yeah. But I think what you should be doing here is you should be just getting out. You should be okay. coming out. Coming out of the play, let your teammate turn and do some weird stuff. But you're just going to get out, you're going to reset, and you're going to wait and see what happens. Come back around here. And if he starts to push that way, then I go the opposite way, right? If he starts to push, push tries to go, tries to go the way I'm going, then I'll. Yeah, if your teammate goes that way, then yeah. you're then you're gonna cut in like this to your teammate's path. Okay. So you've kind of got the path of the, the second man, this one, then you got the path of the first man. It's like see how awkward this is because you're underneath the ball and you're both turning yep. here on the corner. Like it's really really Very awkward. Very awkward. Yeah. Whereas you could be, you could be here. You know. <laughs> And you could be Wait, watching play. the play, just waiting to see what happens. 
Like it's much safer. It's much. It allows you to have much more opportunity, much more impact on the game. Whereas here, we're, so. we almost bump our teammate. Like it's. Yeah, it's you jumped right over us. That was perfect, by him, actually. Yeah. And then we get a passing play, which is good. Yep. But this passing play still happens. Like, see how you're already in this position now. Yeah. This is the position still you should have been in. Yeah, this is the position you should have been in before. Like, already. Know. Yeah? You just got there in a really bad way. I feel like you're ending up in the right place a lot of the time. Too late. But you're not doing it the right way. Okay. So, like, okay. So so like when you... not horrible, but it's not great. Yeah, like, the, the journey is bad for you, but the end goal seems to be correct. Okay. <laughs> so, so, like, see... See here, when you take this path, Mm -hmm. So we almost bump our teammate yep. underneath the ball and we're not getting any opportunity, okay? But if we cut, like, yeah. if we go this way, we're out of our mm -hmm. teammate's way, we can keep an eye on everyone on the pitch, we have good vision, we mm -hmm. can respond better, we have an opportunity to demo an opponent. Like, there's a lot more stuff happening, right? Like, a lot more good so that's things. that's why you always rotate the opposite, like, not ball side. No, no, you, you can rotate ball side. Right? You, oh, you okay. can rotate ball side. It's just like, a, so just in this scenario, like, a, just kind of like a general rule of thumb is, you don't really want to be underneath the ball too much. Okay. And if you see both you and your teammate are on the same corner, or on the same, like, little mm -hmm. area on the pitch, one of you should probably rotate out and get a little bit more space. Okay. This guy gets a good touch, that's in our net. No yeah, problem. 100%. Both of you are in the same place, right? So. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to be the smarter player here, and you want to peace out and get a better position. I think this is me saving mass. Yep. Yeah, we do make the save here. I'd be a little bit careful. I saw you, like, pushing a little bit far forward here. Okay. But at this point, I'm kind of slowing down because I need to cover the whole goal, right? Yeah. So I kind so of got right lucky now, here, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you got lucky that he's bad, right? If he's... Yeah. If this is my game, and I push here... Like, I've left this open, this corner of the goal. See, yeah. you see when you push forward? You just kind of take it around you, flick it beside you or something. This whole portion of the net is now open. Oh, this guy yeah, is going to boom it top right corner if he's a better player. You see? Mm-hmm. Yeah, completely screwed. free. Yeah, you're completely screwed. But he completely screws it up. Yeah, he completely screws he it up. He doesn't need touch. Yeah, this should, this should be a top right banger 100% of the time mm -hmm. against a good player. And he's even got the arc for it. He can hit that really easily. Yeah, yeah definitely good at it. This is this is like where balance comes so in. So if oh, I'm okay. you here, I'm taking a wider arc around here. Mm, okay. And this allows me to hold on to my momentum long enough for this play to unfold, so I have a better idea of what's happening. Okay. So we're intentionally taking a longer. Oh, I'm clicking on on the wrong buttons. <laughs> Apologies. Yeah, we're, we're intentionally okay. taking a longer arc around here. Okay. So we can give ourselves a bit more time to see what these guys are going to do. Mm. Whereas when okay, you cut in like this, in order for you to keep your momentum, you're having to drive further into the goal, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't lose speed. That's true. Whereas if we take a wider okay. arc, we can maintain some speed, but we can also reach this point at the same time that you've reached this point. Mm. Interesting. You get me? Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So you want to keep your speed so you can defend this ball if it's just here in the corner. Okay. You don't want to be slow. Yeah. You don't want to be slow. Yeah, you don't want to stop here. It's like I'm telling you to be here so you can cover the whole net. But in reality, if you stop right here, you're going to get scored mm -hmm. on here. Yeah. And the only that way to fix sense. this is by this wide arc, this wide rotation. Keep your momentum, end up here, and then you're covering everything. Nice flick again. Thank you. Nice pressure. Okay, I'm looking for a little bit of a, a disruption for me here. So, okay. see once we're out of the play, so we've done a good play, okay? We've like yeah. applied pressure, it's now our teammate's turn. And we want to think about ways we can help make things... Um, so demo. Or, yeah, demo, yeah. We want to like maintain our, our offense without being involved with the play. And ways we can do okay. that is starvation, like stealing boost. Demoing, bumping, all that kind of stuff. So in this situation, okay. obviously we, we can't steal boost. But no. naturally, 
this guy is in our in our path, right? He's gonna come right here. So we can bump we're coming this way. We can bump him, yeah. And this is gonna make it easier. Like if our teammate gets a fifty here or is able to get it past the enemy, yeah. you get a free goal afterwards. Just because That's you true. demoed this guy. Yeah. Whereas when we turn on ball cam here, not doing any use, right? Because we're not involved in the play. No, it's like not. we're not doing anything. Yeah. So sometimes when you when, once you've done your part, forget about the ball, sure, forget about the play. Okay. And look at other things that you can do on the pitch. I should take a wider arc here, right? So I can get more power in the ball than I did. So, yeah, so we have a lot of space. So there's two options here. I'm okay with your turn. Yeah, so we can start bench trouble. There's quite a few options here, actually. So you can either like come further okay. back and then take like a wider turn in. Mm -hmm. You can use the information that you have that your teammates on the other side. And you can use all this open space because both the enemies are here. So yep. you can just pass over here. Teammate's gonna turn and then you can make a play. Um yeah, bounce triple works. And also the going back and taking a more controlled play works as well. If I'm making just... a champ one play here, then I should be making a champ three play here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And kind of like when you're in this situation, the, like how you make this decision is based off the information that you have, right? So what information okay. do you have here? Uh well both enemies are pretty they're nowhere much near you, right? They're, they're yeah, trying right. to recover, looks like. Yep. One guy is trying Just... to predict when I'm gonna do the other guy's recovery, and I think into a squishy save. My teammate is off doing what he's doing. But I think what you mean by I could take a wider stance back, I could probably go for a hook shot at that point too. Yeah, definitely. But we want to do like a control play, right? Something we can follow. Okay, so, so like ground to air dribble is good, bounce dribble is good, a pass is good. Uh, you know, just and booming the ball is. Yeah, we only have eight seconds, so it needs to be like a, it needs to be a goal. You know, like mm -hmm. what happens here? Yeah, our kind of our trigger for this, like our trigger to take control, is when we see both the enemies are nowhere near us. That's okay. when we can hundred percent just take control. So whatever right the hell we want. I... Put the ball on top of my car and try to flick it too. Since they're both in a bad place, I might be able to get it past them. Or is that risky? And no, you can literally do anything you like here. You can attack okay. any way you like, as long as you're not doing what you did. <laughs> okay, I okay, guess so flick probably would have been good here then, because the power I can get on it was throwing them off earlier. Yeah, a anything is good here apart from just hitting what the ball to the enemy. Yeah, like any Especially any any useful seconds. attack. Oh god. Yeah. I look back, I'm like, that's a stupid play. No, that's okay. We all make mistakes, sorry. Yeah, that's true. Um, they get scored on, unfortunately. And that is yep. the game. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure you join the SSL Academy, too. Link to the Discord is down in the description. Peace.